We're going to start things off now by installing Live and some content for Ableton Live that we'll be using throughout this course. Ableton Live is available in a few different configurations. You can buy the boxed version of Ableton Live, which comes with the Essential Instruments Collection and a PDF version of the manual. The Essential Instruments Collection is a collection of sampled instruments for Ableton Live. You can buy the downloaded version, which does not come with the Essential Instruments Collection, but does come with a PDF version of the manual. You can also buy the Ableton Live Suite, which is a new product available with Ableton Live 7 that contains a number of instruments and effects. Ableton Live Suite is available both as a boxed and downloaded version. Let's go to the Ableton Live website now and take a look at their shop. And we're going to go click on the shop link at www.ableton.com. Click on Ableton Live 7 and you can see the various versions of Ableton Live that are available. We've got Ableton Live 7 boxed version, the download version, Ableton Suite boxed version, and Ableton Suite download version. I'm going to actually go to the downloads page and download the Ableton Live 7 demo. Now this is a full version of the program. It's exactly the same as the downloadable version of the program. The only difference is that saving and exporting are not available with the demo, but you can download the demo and then buy a serial number here at Ableton.com and then activate the demo and turn it into the real version. So I'm downloading the English Mac OS X version and I would click the download button there if I wanted to download this. I'm not going to actually do that right now because I've got the download right here on my desktop. Double clicking that file opens up the installer window here and as you can see it says to install live for Mac OS X drag this folder to your hard disk. So I'll just go ahead and drag this onto my Applications folder. For Windows users, you would download an .exe file, double-click that, and that will install live. It's very, very easy to install the Ableton Live 7 downloadable program. And if you've got the boxed version, you would drag the program onto your Applications folder in OS X and click the .exe file again for Windows users. So I've already done the dragging and dropping, so I'm going to go to my Applications folder here, Ableton Live, and double-click it to start things up. Now the first time you start up Ableton Live, it will install uh, some content, and I've already been through that process, so that's not going to... I'm not going to worry about that here. Uh, I do have a serial number. So if you have a serial number, you'll want to input it. If you don't have a serial number, you can start live in demo mode. Uh, and you can work with live without saving and exporting functionality. But so I've just input my serial number here and I'm going to click the unlock button. Now if I'm connected to the internet, I can select the unlock online option and that will immediately unlock the live program. If I'm, my computer is not connected to the internet, I can find another computer that is and utilize this unlock from file option here. I'm going to cancel out of this and show you now the process of installing some extra content for Live that's available on the Ableton Live website. So I'm going to go into demo mode. And as you can see, saving and exporting are disabled in demo mode. Going back to the Ableton site, I'm going to click on the downloads link again. And I'm going to click on the Live Packs link. And now these are Live Packs contain content for Ableton Live and for the various instruments that are available with the program. Now the basics and lessons should have been installed automatically when you installed Ableton Live 7, whether you're on Windows or OS 10. If you're planning on checking out any of the uh, optional instruments, which I definitely suggest you should, you're going to want to go ahead and download the demo songs, the sampler, the operator, Impulse Live Packs. And these are all packs that contain presets and clips for various instruments. You're also going to want to download and install the Dennis DeSantis Live Pack here because we're going to be taking a look at one of these instruments later on when we're looking at Live's instrument rack functionality. And this process is very easy. Just click on the download link for the uh, Live Pack you want to download. It'll download to your desktop or whatever location you have set up. You go back to Ableton Live and select File, Install Live Pack. 
navigate to wherever your live pack is, select the pack, open it up, and say yes when it asks if you'd like to install it. And live will go through the process of installing all of the presets or clips or samples that are included in the live pack. So once you've installed and authorized Ableton Live and installed the content available in the live packs, you're ready to proceed with the rest of this course.